All right, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kazar Spell. And welcome back to Like a no, Dragon Infinite Wealth. I don't Wealth. think I ate him. No, I don't think you ate him either. It's, it's fine. Um, but welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. In the last episode, we did things and stuff all over the place. Gotta go to Cafe Alps. Okay. Sorry. She's a go. Wait up, wait up. Come on. I was calling your name and everything, she's a go. Oh, sorry, Miki. <laughs> oh, are you mm -hmm. reflecting about the Ono Michio keychain? You know, I've been wondering, that little guy on your keychain, who is he? <laughs> oh him? Ono Michio. He's Ono Michi's mascot. Didn't you know? Uh, no. Why would I? I mean, yeah, I know you said you were from there, but seriously, like, the heck is he? <laughs> he's just a mascot. And he's my favorite. I'm not kidding. He's really special to me. <laughs> we're having reflections yeah. about... <laughs> oh, no, Michio. She's a girl. You think? Oh my god, really? I'll get better. If I don't get that surgery, I can't marry Michio Kun. We're getting closure for this one? I'm not brave enough. I'm so scared. I'll do it. It might hurt, but I'll push through. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll be brave for you. It was Shizuko. Hey, Shizuko. We're going the same way, right? Let's walk home together. Mm, sorry. Nothing came up today. I'm going to some place called Kamurocho Hills. You are? That's kind of far. You okay walking by yourself? You only just moved here after all. It's not like you know where you're going. <sighs> I'll be fine. Didn't he already pass the torch of wearing the mascot worry. costume off to a Chiban last game? Okay. No, I don't think it's no. A neighborhood, so just be careful. See ya. No, definitely did not. We we like the thing is, Kiryu was only in the costume for a little bit. There have been a lot of Ono Michio since then. You got time, right? Wanna hang out with us? There's a great little spot nearby. My treat, of course. Um, no thank you. I really have to get going. Hey, hang on a sec. There's no need to act like that, is there? What are you even doing over here? You looking for a sugar daddy? Uh, not at all. I just got lost and... Hey, come on. Like we buy that? Now, let's make some memories. What do you say? What the fuck, man? Please! Ugh. Get your hands off her. Touch Shizuko again. You're dead. <laughs> Yo, what? Who the fuck is he? Wait. You know my name? <sighs> You're out of your league. Now get lost. I won't wait around forever. This guy's a freak. Hey, are you good, man? Let's bail. We won't forget this. You old fuck! 
damned kids. Um, thank you so much. Hmm? Oh, no, no. Uh, don't mention it. Take care. Um, sir? I wanted to ask. Here you, son? Right? It's you, isn't it? <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> it is you. I knew it. The same Kiryu who introduced me to Michio. Oh, right. Introduced. <laughs> wow. To think we'd meet in a place like this. It's been so long, Mr. Kiryu. Uh, yeah. Uh, been a while, Shizuko. Uh, all this time, you still remember, huh? As if I could ever forget? Far as I'm concerned, you saved my life. Your life? It's true. I've been wanting to see you again, Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san, this is such a nice surprise. Really, I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. You were just a kid last time I saw you. Sure enough, you became a young lady. No, not even close. I'm still just a high schooler. So back then, I take it the surgery went well? Yes, sir. The doctor did everything just right. And rehabilitation went well too. Now I'm better than ever. I got my life back. And I have you to thank for it. But I didn't do anything. No, you really did. I was terrified of surgery, but then you brought Michio-kun to see me. Thanks to Michio-kun, I finally had the courage. Without that, well, I might never have... <sighs> Things might have gone different. Truly, you and Michio-kun changed my life. I've wanted to say thanks ever since, for all you did. The trouble was, I had only met you once, and never learned anything else about you. It's been my one big regret. I'm so happy I got this chance. More than I can say. Yeah. Honestly, I'd often worry about your surgery. Thanks to today, I don't have to. <laughs> well, I never guessed you lived in Tokyo. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find you in Onomichi. That reminds me, why are you in Kamurocho? Did you move away recently? I did. Actually, I'm studying to become a doctor. Just recently, I got accepted into a special school. That's so nice! My family moved out here. A doctor? <laughs> That's wonderful. If I become one, that is. My classmates are so smart. I have a hard time keeping up. Still, it's my hope I'll save someone's life someday. I'll help them. Just like my doctor helped me. Yeah! So with that, I'll keep on studying. I'm gonna make this dream of mine come true. You've really grown up, Shizuko. And it's a great dream. Keep going, and I'm sure you'll get there. Right. And hey, if you ever get sick, look me up. I'll help you get better. About that. You never know. <laughs> hey, thanks. If that happens, I'll know who to call. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, should we get going? If I recall, you've got somewhere to be, right? I'll walk you. People aren't too friendly around here. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> For the future, try not to come here alone again, okay? Yes, sir. I got lost, is all. I'll remember not to walk around Kamurocho by myself. Your keychain. It's Onomichio. Guess you're still a fan, huh? Of course. It's like I always say, I'm gonna marry him someday. Yeah, I remember you said that even way back. So it's become a doctor and marry Michio, huh? <laughs> Personally, I think you can find someone better. Huh? But why? Michio-kun's so funny and gentle and strong. <laughs> what more could you want in a husband? Nah. Truth be told, he's a handful. He's also stubborn, clumsy, and awkward to a fault. Um... Hear you, son? Hmm? This may be kind of forward, but... Uh, 
The man in the Michio-kun costume back then... Was that...? There you are. Been looking for you, old man. Thought I'd pay back what I owe you. Figure with my buds here, I'll add a little interest. <laughs> oh, it ain't gonna work out for you. Fair warning. Just hang back, Shizuko. You're safe with me. But, wait, if you get hurt... If it means protecting you, a couple scratches is more than worth it. Hey, now, what's this? You gonna run for it, huh? You're gonna wish I had. <laughs> but sorry, no. I'd never embarrass myself in front of a kid. Yes, you I'm would! Back. If you've got a death wish... <laughs> I'd never embarrass shot. myself in front of a kid. Yeah, right! Oh, the amount of be- <laughs> Who wants to talk about that time that Kiryu was in front of a dom- had to train a dominatrix in front of a group of kids? Would never appear. <laughs> oh, Kiryu. Nothing. Are you okay, Shizuko? Thanks to you, Kiryu-san, you saved me. Like you did last time. Great. Anyway, let's go. Uh, y y yes sir Thanks so much for everything today. You even showed me around. <laughs> Nonsense. Happy to do so. Please, I want you to have this. My way of saying thanks. The keychain? Use it, wear it, whatever you like. <laughs> and look, Kiryu-san, we even match. Oh. You sure I can have this? It's pretty special to you, isn't it? Oh, no worries. I have like 50 of those at home, so it's fine. Kind of excessive, don't you think? <laughs> but thanks. I want you to know I have nothing but gratitude for you here, you son. Look at me, I'm no good. I might be older now, but I'd probably be dead without you. I just keep taking and never give back. Here, you son, forgive me. I wish there was more I could do for you. She's a girl. You've done enough. Huh? I said you've done enough. In fact, today I got more than I could have ever asked for. The little girl I once knew, she shivered at the thought of surgery. Now here she is, all grown up, chasing her dream, and making every day count. Might come as a surprise, but do you know how much courage you've given me? Kiryu son. Trust me, you're gonna be a great doctor. As long as you don't give up, I know you'll make it happen. So keep at it. Do your best. Eventually, when you see people suffering like you once did, you'll know how to help. And remember this, I'll always be rooting for you. And your special friend, Michio-kun? I'm sure he feels the same way. <laughs> so long, Shizuko. Take care of yourself. Um, Kiryu-san? Hmm? Well, I just... Thank you, Somichi. <laughs> Back at you. Thank you, Somichi. Thank you, Kiryu-san. No. Michio-kun. Oh, <laughs> That was very cute. Now give me Michio-kun as a pound mate for no reason. Okay. <laughs> I would I would have laughed if that happened though. Let's see. We can explore a bit more. Okay. Huh, I'm fine. Yeah, 
you know what? For no reason, I want to eat here because I, I, I always loved going to, uh, to these places. Oh, whoops. Top floor. The, like, the steakhouse. In, in Yakuza games, they always give, like, the biggest stat boost and strength. I want one of everything. Let's dig in. Boss, Real deal. Meat's good and all, but sometimes you just need seafood. And Conroy here has some of the best squid in town. Yeah, what perfect texture. Great stuff. You aware the squid you love so much might have actually... Don't worry about a dog, speed. D-Bag. I'll finish everything huh? off for you. You mean they're aliens? What the heck? Oh, I get it. It's because they look just like the Martians in those old movies and anime. Am I right? No. I'm talking a real deal scientific theory here. Their brains are pretty big compared to their bodies, and on top of that, they've got tons of nerves, most of which are gathered in their tentacles. So, it's said that each tentacle is kind of like its own computer that can operate independently of the main brain. I mean, that's nothing special. I can move my left and right arms independently. It's not a competition, you know. Squid's pretty different from anything else on Earth, so it's speculated they either came from space or evolved after coming in contact with an ancient virus from a meteorite. Crazy. Now that you mention it, I could see that. They really do seem otherworldly. I notice you have a penchant for tall tales, Jal. Where'd you hear this one? From a magazine I was flipping through at the convenience store. Pretty neat, huh? Well, that brought me <laughs> right back down to Earth. You're surprisingly gullible, Sajan. Well, whether you believe it or not is all on you. Personally, I don't care if they're from this planet or somewhere else. As long as they taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like embracing diversity. By eating <laughs> extraterrestrials? Oh, that right. is food. food. Ooh, four shine. Mm -hmm. They're still Cavalry around? Club. Guess it's being renovated? Not surprising. This town's always had a high turnover rate. Oh? Forshine. Same name as that club I helped out in Sotambori way back when. They nearly went under because of a rival club. At least until I stepped in as their manager. <laughs> it was tough work, but... Still a great experience. This was uh, Yakuza Kiwami too. I haven't seen too. Yuki, Koyuki, and Yoda-san since then. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name... Hmm. Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? <laughs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? N no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Uh, take care. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do you need something? Oh my gosh! It's Kiryu-san. You why? Every single time you walk outside, everyone's gonna recognize you, man. You really ought to show your face more often. But wow, it's so good to see you. How's it going? Uh, it's been going. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is! Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto! In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening soon! Oh yeah? That's great. So how's business? Doing well? Well, no. Not really. 
Yo, you consign clowns still haven't hit the road yet? Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Camarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. How many times we gotta tell you that, Koyuki-san? Ugh, here we go again. Hmm? Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh. That man's nothing but trouble. Let's beat him up! Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, all right? And this conversation's over. Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Rude bitch. Fine then. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires, and as far as I know, Kamurocho doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. Guess I'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never set foot in my city. Show me what you got. You're going to regret this. Let's see, what do I do to this guy? This seems appropriate. Follow my lead. Let's see, how do I want to finish this? It's over. And you're out of here! How's this guy eating? He's way too strong. Well, I just now ate a lot at Conrad. Everything on the menu. You deal with me. You won't catch me here again. I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, Kiryu-san? No, not necessarily. Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Right behind you. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. Impressive, right? <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Forshine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself. Do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it, given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. Huh. I can't help but respect them even more. 
It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. Well, now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Hey now, you're gonna put me to work again? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kinda down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? She used to be the legendary hostess, didn't she? Yeah, she'd really turn things around. <laughs> If I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. And what's that? Running a restaurant. She used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up. <sighs> Told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. That's nice. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. <laughs> Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. Wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So... Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Eugene Cho. It probably is. Given the location and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but... Since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in a Jincho right now. Oh, wow! Small world! You should drop in and say hi then! That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day! I mean it! Go! Hmm? Uh, alright. Cool! Let me know how it is! And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it. I'll, uh, pass on the message. Thanks so much. And I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san. If I have the time, I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Right. I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. All right. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a follow up to that one. I wonder what the Daidoji will have to say about this. <laughs> Just double checking everything. I thought there was a taxi here.
Yeah, we're definitely trained up and ready. Well, that about covers everything, huh? Guess it's time for the big meeting. Honestly, expected a phone call you got 20 feet down the road? No, no, no. See, uh... We're done with that. We, we finished all lifelinks. They're done. Yeah. Janai Station. Once we take off from there, there's no turning back. Wait. She's in the harbor? Wait, that... That was not the whole time, was it? Okay, so Psycho's finale is there. Do we have anyone else's finale? Chitose is Honolulu at night. Zhao is supposed to be in the evening. Psycho is during the day. And Adachi is at night. So, my god. Zhao is going to take forever. Because we're going to be leaving. dog. I'd love to get one of my own someday. I always wanted one of those big ones you could pal around with. I've looked after a dog before. It was nice. I remember how he'd always beg to go on walks, even in storms. That's the pet owner experience. <laughs> oh, makes me want one too. I went to the pet store the other day, actually. Saw this big hamster thing. It was so cute. I almost adopted it. Big hamster thing? Yeah, what, what was it called again? Chin something? Chinzilla! No, Chinchilla. Chinchilla? That's right, Chinchilla. Oh, it had such cute little eyes. I'd like a guinea pig, I think. What about you, Nanchan? When I was homeless, there were crows and cats everywhere. Hard to think of them as pets after that, to be honest. Spent too much time wanting to kick their ass for snatching my food. Oh, that's sad. When I get a big dog, Nambukun, I'll let you fight him. No, you will not. Ha! <laughs> I'd kick that dog's ass! <laughs> no! Hey, hang on. I need to... There's another book symbol in the lifelinks bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. We're definitely going to be heading there, but Psychos is closer. Mmm, it's so good. I just love how creamy they make them. Do you come here pretty often? Oh, not too often. This place is still pretty new, after all. It's not like I've been coming here my whole life or anything. That right? No, well, either way, it's a good spot. Isn't it? My first time here was with Ichiban and Adachi-san in the game. We were just checking it out. I might not have even come in if not for them. I kind of have a hard time trying new places. I see. Well, it's hard to have a bad time at your favorite spot. But you can also make new discoveries with your friends. I wouldn't have this nice latte if not for you. Yeah, that's true. The guys would drag me to all sorts of new places. Huh. I used to have a good friend who'd do the same thing. 
You really opened my eyes to the world. Having friends like that can make your world that much bigger. Treasure every moment. And your friend? Are they... You know what? Never mind. You're right. Every moment. Uh, I guess I derailed our cafe conversation a little bit. Sorry. No, not at all. I love learning about you, Kiryu-san, so I'm always happy to hear more. About me? Well, all right. You know, I'm a big riddle guy. Oh, um, okay. Well, do you have a good one? What do a latte and a minor league baseball player have in common? Ah, uh, all right, what is it? In the end, they're both just a cup of coffee. Oh, right. What? <laughs> but, you know, I was kind of hoping to hear your thoughts and stuff. I don't know if a riddle says much. No, it was cute, wasn't it? <laughs> You're surprisingly playful, Kiryu-san. As long as you enjoyed it. Oh, I know! Why don't we take a picture? Taking pictures at fancy cafes is really trendy, you know. Sure, that's Yeah, I don't fine. get it either. Aren't you supposed to do that before you drink your latte? Oh, uh, well, let's just forget about the rules for a sec. All right, here goes. <laughs> Not exactly a masterpiece, but the memories there, right? Let's keep spending time together, whether that's talking, walking, or taking more pictures, okay? Yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, and now we have to go to the harbor light. This is definitely the place. To think I could have Yukke Jung Guk Bop in a place like this. Ah, nothing like it. Huh, this place sure does have an international menu. Japanese style pickles, curry. Even that Korean beef soup you ordered. You're right. Just shows we've got people from all over. Nah, these are just the mama here's favorites. She's got a pretty eclectic taste. Oh, really? Well, if she's serving food from all over, how about adding some Chinese to the menu? Maybe I'll teach her a recipe or two. <laughs> hey, good idea. What are you thinking? Hmm, fried rice, maybe chili shrimp. The stove at this place doesn't look too hot. Well, if it ain't burning, it ain't real Chinese. We need big fire. Huh? You good? What's got you so worked up all of a sudden? That's probably just his inner pyro talking. <laughs> big yeah. fire! Guess Zhao will have to wait until they improve their stove. A worthy investment if this place wants to stay afloat. You guys, the mama's giving us the stink eye. At this point... We'll be lucky if they ever serve Chinese. Thanks for buying. That was great. That was food. Seriously, what's up with that? Is there a back? Oh, there's a back entrance.
In Shireen? As has always been here? Come on, come in! Come one, come all, and get your fill of sushi! Ah, oh, don't tell me. Quit your jabbering and stuff your pie hole with sushi! Don't be shy, sit your bum down and enjoy! What the hell is she doing? What's this? A customer? Ah, oh, damn. Oh god, my first customer this whole week! Welcome! Hmm? <clears throat> hmm. Hmm? I'm, uh, Suzuki. Oh my gosh! It's Kiryu song! <laughs> Koyuki told me, actually. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, please come this way. Come on, come in and get your fill of sushi. <sighs> sure thing. It's been so long, Kiryu-san. Like, what, 15, 16 years? Has it now? Time really does fly. Can't believe a legendary hostess is making people sushi. Now I've seen it over all. a grill, no less. <laughs> did that surprise you? It did, yeah. So why sushi? Well, I've always wanted to run my own restaurant. Didn't matter how big or small it'd be. And since my specialty is chirashi sushi, I just figured, why not give it a shot with my best dish? <laughs> you know? Not a bad plan. The fact that you can put your hard-earned money toward making your dream a reality is impressive in itself. So, how's business? Doing well? Yeah, yeah! Uh, no, not at all. I make a pretty mean bowl of chirashi, too. Maybe it just doesn't pair well with booze? Hmm, maybe. Who knows? But you used to be known as the legendary hostess, right? So if you called up some of your old customers, they'll definitely come running. Yeah, I know, I could, but I can't. Doesn't feel right, you know? How so? I mean, if people only ever came here to see me, wouldn't you feel bad for the food? Because then it doesn't matter what I make for them. I shouldn't have to rely on my old rep when I'm trying oh, to. Oh, it's not a grill. Place. It's, it's just... just not right. Oh, uh, okay. It'd be a totally different story if I had a bar instead or a joint that runs on service and hospitality. But at my place, the Chirashi belongs in the limelight. I want people to come for my sushi, not me. Well said. Classic Yuki. You think so? I do. Sure, at first glance, things may seem overwhelming, but you've got your own principles and ideals, and you never let yourself get carried away. It's very like you. You could have gone with the trends to keep Forshine on top for over 10 years, but I'm sure it was just as important to you to strike the right balance between old and new. You stayed the best of the best because you managed to do exactly that. You've got what it takes to be a great business owner. <laughs> Probably. Probably. You really think so? <laughs> and your laugh's as creepy as ever. But it doesn't change the fact that my place ended up being a total flop. I've got so much time on my hands, I get so bored. Koyuki told me you were super busy, though. Did you lie to her? Well, yeah, I had to. I mean, I kept raving to her about taking on a new challenge, so telling her I've got nothing but time on my hands is so lame. I don't want her to worry about me either. If I told her my place was practically a barren wasteland, I feel like she'd swing by every single day. Hmm, fair point. Koyuki admires you a lot. Always has, always will. The only reason I can even try all these new ventures is because someone as reliable as Koyuki-chan supporting me. I really appreciate her. But she's always been a hard worker. I'm a little worried she'll collapse out of sheer exhaustion one day. Hmm, about that. Things are looking a little rough on her end right now. Huh? Her club's about to have its grand opening, but they're short on staff because some guys have been harassing them. 
Koyuki's been doing what she can, but the new club's pretty big. I don't know if she can handle all the customers when it opens for business. Doesn't look like she's feeling great either. Oh gosh, really? I'd totally lend her a hand if she told me. She just didn't want you to worry about her. Even said she didn't want to drag you down since you told her how busy you were. Oh, I'm not really that busy though. Guess it's on me for trying to show off. Now I feel awful. Kiryu-san, would it be wrong if I help out Koyuki-chan? Do you think it'd annoy her? Why are you asking me about what Koyuki think? I'm sure you already know the answer yourself. Yeah, you're right, Kiryu-san. Thank you. No more being distant. Whenever Koyuki-chan's in a pinch, I'll always be there to help her. The two of us are like sisters, after all. I'm gonna pack up. Why do I know her voice? And all. I hope you'll come for Four Shine's grand opening too. My phone's if dead right now, time. so I can't even Google it. All right, time for this old lady to show off what she's got. They just feel so familiar. I guess we're going back to uh, Four Shine. Hey, Yuki. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. So this is Four Shine Tokyo, huh? Never imagined our club would make its way here. Times Four Shine! To think our tiny little cabaret that nearly went under would come so far. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. You were against expanding to Kanto, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't exactly against it. I just... You know, never found the courage. I was scared of failing and losing everything that we built. That's why I could never bring myself to do it. But Koyuki-chan's amazing. She knew the risks and still pressed forward. No matter the end result, this is a huge first step. Yeah, you're right. Yo, asshole. You really did a number on me last time. Yay, people to beat up. Who's he? A friend of yours? Does he look like a friend? A club's turnout on day one shows how it's gonna do in the future. So we figured we'd crash the party. <laughs> Erica Lind- Oh my god, it's Lindbeck? Oh, she's been in so much. I'd like to see you try. Come on, it's your bedtime. Show me what you got. Oh, I need to do a- yeah, oh, hold on. I, I need to do a quick Google. Yeah, she's she's been in a lot. I mostly know her as Futaba from Sock. Uh, I'm sorry, Futaba. From uh, Persona 5. That that's the voice I know her as. Try this on the side. I feel so yeah, I just googled the IMDB.
I give you the gift of a single rose. done cleaning up the entrance. Let's take a look inside, Yuki. Okay. Hello. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What? Yuki-san? Hey there, Koyuki-chan. I heard you were in a pickle, so I came to help out. Well, if that's okay, that is. Of course that's okay. Why wouldn't it be? But aren't you super busy with your restaurant? Well, about that. I'm not busy at all. I just wanted to look cool in front of you. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, really. She had a lot of time on her hands. Ouch. Truth hurts. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa there, what's wrong? Nothing. I just... I just really, really wanted to see you. I was so lonely without you. Koyuki-chan! I wanted to see you too. You're doing great, you know. <laughs> hey, it's about time to open up shop, isn't it? Don't you need to get ready? Oh, right. Uh, Yuki-san, do you mind lending me a hand? Of Course I don't mind. Wow, after all these years, I can't believe I get to be a hostess again. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked! Come on, this way, Yuki-san! You just sit tight, Kiryu-san! Alright. <laughs> so, <laughs> they kept the golden statue. <laughs> so, what do you think? You need to stop laughing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> you look stunning, Yuki-san. Ah, with you around, it's like we've got a hundred girls working the floor. But today's the grand opening, right? If only we had another first-rate hostess here to really get things rolling. Hmm, but do we know anyone like that? Hmm. A first-rate hostess, huh? I might know someone. Huh? You do? That's great! Could you please, please, please ask her? <laughs> sure. I'll give her a call. I was wondering what's all the hurry, but I never expected you to call me over to a cabaret club. Who's this? A friend of mine, Saiko. She's the mama of her own club back in Yokohama. I'm Koyuki. Oh, sorry for having you come all the way here, Saiko-san. She was right outside. And I'm Yuki. I've known Kiryu-san for pretty much forever. Yuki and Koyuki? Yep. No way. Yuki-san and Koyuki-san, as in the legendary hostesses of Four Shine, Sotenbury's number one cabaret club? Uh, yep. We sure are. Oh my god! Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting actual legends. I have read your cabaret management book over and over, Yuki-san. <laughs> Thank you, that's sweet. Now when did you get published? Uh, it just happened to happen one day. Man, what was I even thinking? But hearing how someone read it from cover to cover makes me real happy. Um, anyway, today's our grand opening, Psycho-san, but we're a little short-staffed. I'm sorry this is all so last minute, but do you think you could help us out? We'll definitely pay you and all, so... Yes, of course, I'd love to. Oh, this would be such a great learning opportunity, and it's such an honor to work alongside you both. Awesome! Thank you so much! So, do we have enough hostesses? Yes, all thanks to you, Kiryu-san! But we still have one more role 
to fill. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What role? Boy, don't tell me. Wow, black really suits you, Kiryu-san. Just like old times, right? Sure takes me back. Ooh, you look real handsome. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have many guys working today either. I really appreciate you stepping in. Ooh, hold up. You were a manager at Four Shine, Kiryu-san? How'd that happen? A long story. You as long as I have. <laughs> you experience all sorts of things. I'm already dressed for the part, so... I might as well go all the way. Let's make this a night to remember. <laughs> exactly! It's nearly opening time! Do Ready the ladies? pose! Forshine Tokyo is open for business! Finally over. That was a great showing, as expected of the Kansai giant Forshine. Great work, everyone. Y'all did amazing out there. Oh, that goes for you too, Kiryu-san. Honey, really can't thank you enough, Yuki-san, Saiko-san. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we made it through the night. When I took over for Yuki-san, I didn't want people thinking Forshine was done for the moment it changed hands. That's why I kept pushing to expand to Kanto. But in the end, I just exhausted myself. Honestly, I feel awful for dragging you all into my mess. I wish I could have gone about it better. Yuki-san would have done a better job for sure. I'm really sorry for my incompetence. <sighs> Koyuki. What are you saying, Koyuki-chan? You attempted something I never had the courage to do. Just that by itself is amazing. I wouldn't have even gone for it. Like, yeah, it's true there are things I can do that you can't right now. But same goes the other way around. There are lots of things you can do that I can't even imagine. So you just keep doing you, Koyuki-chan, and give everything 100%. There's really no need to copy me. Not when you've got plenty going for you. Plus, you've got skill, trust me. So believe in yourself. I want you to shine bright as the star of your own show, all right? Yeah! Yuki-san. <laughs> Yuki-san! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's amazing. I think I get why everyone calls her the legendary hostess. Yeah. Me too. Thank you all so much for today. You've got a handle on things now? Yeah, and I think the harassment will die down thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I'm gonna give it 100% for the sake of my precious foreshine. Come stop by again sometime. You too, Psycho-san. I'd love to. Keep at it, Koyuki-chan. I think I need to step up my game too. Gotta keep my restaurant afloat. By the way, what kind of restaurant are you running, Yuki-san? You never told me. Oh, she didn't? It's a Chirashi sushi place. Huh? But why sushi, of all things? <laughs> oh, you know, you experience all sorts of things when you live as long as I have. Anyway, my business hasn't taken off at all, so I ought to learn from your example and do my best. Well, we can't have your restaurant go under. I'll visit you every day and have Chirashi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. But don't worry about me, all right? Just focus on your club. <laughs> all right. Well, guess this is it then. You ladies take care. Wait! Uh, what's up? Since we're all here, why don't we do that thing? One last time before we head out? Do it! That thing? Oh. 
Right. That. Yeah, let's do it! You too, Saiko-san. How about it? That... Oh, that thing! From the photo in Yuki-san's book! All right, fine. Might as well sign off with that. Okay, here goes! Let's wish each other all the best in our future endeavors! One... Two... two three... three four, FOUR SHINE! It couldn't have ended any other way. Ooh, pound mates. Well, of course, we got to use them to see how they are. Okay, so they're a 500k one. Whoa, they actually, they boost the party's attack. Oh, it's just like the Kazuki and Yuya, except that's magic. This is attack, this is better. God, they're even using the hand signs from the game. Cigarette. Oh my god! We could use some ice here. Three. Four shine! Let's go! That's fine. I won't hold that. And it buffs everyone's attack power, so that's like a really good one. Okay, a quick look just to make sure that there is not any more book symbols or anything like that. No, it looks like we're okay. And then one more look around. Okay, so when it comes to the bucket list for Memoirs of a Dragon, we only have two left in Yokohama, which I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it. There's a high chance this is gonna be like you think you did every single one of Kiryu's memoir things. No, no, no. He's got two more in Yo Yokohama and one more in Kamarocho, but there is a good chance that these will happen in the story. Because, you know, some have been happening in the story. I mean, we're about to go meet Daigo, Majima, and Saijima. And if those are the th three last parts, then, I mean, everything fits into place. What'll it be, Kiryu-san? Ready to go meet Daigo and the others? Recommend level 41. We are ready. Uh-huh. I am. Let's go. 
Roger, roger. Yeah. Okay, keep your guard up, everyone. It's cold. How long have we been on the road? Hey, you could have always stayed back in Yokohama, you know. <laughs> well, maybe. If I'd have known we were gonna take the scenic route. No kidding. Still, Kiryu-san's probably better off with a friend or two. So there's that. Hmm. <laughs> Agreed. Looks like it's gonna snow. Sorry about this. None of the taxis were willing to make the trip. Uh, no surprise there. Long distance is a gamble for them. You need someone who will hitch a ride back, and where we're going, those are few and far in between. Rare sight to behold, honestly. Not many people would want to go up this way. You might even be the first. How come? You guys work in television or something? No. Just visiting a couple of old friends. It's been a long time. The day before? The Second Great Dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups within the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seriyu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will, and rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... Even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So... As we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Mm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. No, sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons? Sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs>
I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. They just chose to live One in thing? shacks? Maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. You know, it may be a shack, but it's still home. Maybe try knocking. Little manners will go a long way, after all. Shit. You're getting old, Kiryu-chan. Time will do that, Majima-san. Hear you, son. A lot's happened. Guess that goes for all of us, eh? Okay, so I'll say this. I like Daigo's voice. I like, um... Saijima's yeah. voice. I'm sorry. You need... Like, well, if you're gonna get <laughs> Majima, you seat. needed to find an actor who would absolutely Least eat every single scene he's in. Drink. He is, he sounds normal. And Majima's voice is not a normal one. Haven't seen you since the dissolution. It's been four years already. Last I'd heard, you had a security company out in Sotambori. <laughs> had. And hey, look That's a director thing, by the way, not voice actor. You, no one be mean to the voice actor. You're doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, yeah, where's the mania? No where's the nice to see you no again, Kiryu-chan? Like even <sighs> even when he's calm, what? he's still crazy. Okay. <laughs> even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well, if you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. Majima-san, the man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Yeah, he just sounds crude, so calm and wrong. reserved. Better to enjoy when he's supposed now. to have that main well, manic here, flair I'll keep every along. time. Well, better not waste your time with us then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car. Daigo. Honestly, you think you'd learn by now. <sighs> you think Kiryu-chan here's gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you want to know what happened? Is that it? Yeah, he's hammy even when he's calm. The world happened. That's what. We lost. Like, I expect a, you think he'd learn by now kind, in, kind of deal. Take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. Again, it's not the voice exactly. actor. Right the voice is honestly plans. pretty okay. Not I just want to see be. him go... We knew we'd get people's attention. Intense. Especially with his role. We were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally. But I like I said, every Daigo here beforehand. and I Saijima are doing wonderfully. I, I really I really enjoy their talked with the media. Like that the sounds like how I would imagine Daigo Granted, at this point. Those things don't come for free. Close to seventy thousand lives were on the line. And the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. 
There's only one thing I want to know. Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection. And we had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. <laughs> Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. But even with all the stretching, we still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. It's kind of dumb. I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the Great Dissolution once he left. <laughs> Seriously, you thought the best way was just, well, time to yes, hole up in a shack. No I've never met him, though. Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe. It's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza. Not on a grand scale, anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. But little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> the man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd. To say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother, but she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today, but the name he had before, it was Hikawa. Hikawa? Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. 
but Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and as a result, Sawashira was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did ya? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Seryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Punch him! Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> How it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others... They're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. But those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. way in hell, that's us. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? They act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. How'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. Huh? <laughs> I'm 
Guess I was wrong. Hold it! The hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. possibly know about what we've been through. You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. <sighs> Damn you! <sighs> What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. Okay, so that's the best you can do. Sure. Why not? Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, he's, he's trying, but it's just... Did it's just not there. A nice, friendly chat. Cause, uh, they sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> more importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. See? One express trip to hell coming up! Yeah, see that he he was he was just there for a little bit. Hmm. Well, that's scary. Probably have a few bruises after this. Hey, we can't back down now. We're locked in, sister. So buckle up. In for the kill. I won't hold you back. I'm not backing down. You're weak. You're gonna be a war. Wanna play? Nothing personal. Ready for battle! Get rid of those buffs. No begging for mercy now. Have fun with this. Your heart's mine. Here, you haven't even been attacked yet, have you? Okay, they hired him for the laugh. He can do the laugh. Or maybe that was just... Maybe that was just the original laugh. I'm not sure. But that was a good laugh. Here 
Looking a little worse for wear there, Kiryu-chan. Still, you wouldn't kick the nest. Won't let you off the hook that easy. I'd say that's enough. Oh, he's bringing that back from Yakuza 5. Let's have some. Together, we only need one shot. Get out of here. Do I have Dragon Resurgence available? You mean the one that lets me just beat someone down and, like, freely? Yes, I have that available. I wanted to buff uh, Kiryu's attack a little more. Oh, I needed that for that? Oh no, that was just a special part. Much better. You're going to regret this. You're weak to lightning. Just keep kicking him in the dick. Just getting rid of your buffs for when we start beating you up. But give him but a single rose. Your heart's mine. I'm on a roll. Give it, let's go. No more games. This time I go all out. No time to hold back. You want some? Follow my lead. I like you could see all the various uh, Daigo imagery in the background too. Let's see, and you're weak to water, so bottoms up. See if we can lower your defense.
Here we go. Ready for the knockout? Good whiskey. I'm on a roll. Let's go. What? Okay. Try and stop me. Things are finally getting interesting. Time for the real deal. Bracelet of the Four Davis. There's more where this came from. Hell yeah. Be straight with me. What are you all so afraid of? Are you scared of screwing up people's lives? Or maybe... Maybe you just don't want to fail again. Whatever the reason, you'll never know if you don't try. You act like it's so simple. Say we do try. What happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, Keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. There you go again. Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. Not to mention, I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. <laughs> yeah, oh, you that. say that, but you've been the nicest Yakuza. <laughs> Somehow still here. So that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu. That's no excuse to... Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Shiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe... All I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait, Kiryu-san. You three better get your shit together by the end of this game or I'm gonna be mad. Well, we're back. And no Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Manjima. 
Ah, oh, man. If they just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. <laughs> You're probably right. <sighs> they seem to have made up their minds, though. It's not like we can force them to help out. You got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara Channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! <laughs> <laughs> he can't go anywhere! <clears throat> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! We don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. Get back here, damn it! It's so easy when you can just fast travel. Hang on, didn't I need to be somewhere at night? Oh, that's at Honolulu. And we skipped evening. Wait, what? What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the Who evil got the footage? Dare to touch. Let's jump into today's topic. Now look here. Everyone knows this face. Right? I can hear that this is an this is a fake voice That's now though. Right. Photographed in Hawaii just the other day. It's you can hear a filter. But this latest video comes to us from right here in Japan in our own backyard. That means Kazuma Kiryu's come home. And why, you ask? Well, feast your eyes. This is the head of one of the biggest Yakuza groups of all time. The Tojo Clan's sixth chairman, Daigo Dojima. And that's not all. With him are Tojo Clan officers Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. These are all major players. Yakuza all-stars, if you will. How about our longtime viewers? I'm sure they recognize these guys, right? Yep, these are the guys who ran that security company from Sotenbori. The same one yours truly covered a while back. Way to be two playing a game with it. Welcome to the members. stream! <laughs> yeah, we're fighting a VTuber and they're winning. At first, we thought they had well disappeared, but it seems they've simply been hiding out. Now, what's this mean for Kazuma Kiryu? Why would he visit them now of all times? To find out, we've invited the man who risked his very life to bring us this footage. Oh, who brought the footage? Uh, yes. Yeah, it was the truck driver. Oh, off. Oh, you don't mind telling us, sir, just how did you end up with this video? Well, I'm a truck driver, you see, and yesterday I picked up this hitchhiker. I didn't know the guy was Kazuma Kiryu at the time. That said, I, I do have an eye for seeing through people. I figured he was way too fishy, so after I dropped him off, I decided to follow him. And that's when you filmed this, after you chased him down, right? So, what were Kazuma Kiryu and his Tojo clan cohorts discussing in their little shack? Did you hear what they said? From what I could hear, at least, it was stuff like going back to the Yakuza and reviving the Tojo clan. Going back to the Yakuza? Did you hear that, folks? 
and coming from Kazuma Kiryu and the like. Does this mean everything we feared is coming true? The Yakuza really are planning their return. What does that spell for the rest of us? When did this video go up? Earlier this morning. It immediately went to number one in trending, and it's even being reported on TV. And that wasn't Chitose, was it? Nope. From what Kasuga told me, Chichan completely cut ties with Eiji after yeah, all that Yeah, that definitely sounded like a I fake voice. Found a substitute. Actually, some of the more passionate fans have noticed, but only a small percentage. The channel's grown, and now even the numbers alone are drawing in more viewers. Right. And to the majority of them, it doesn't matter if they're getting the truth or not. Dwight said something similar a while back. People will always choose the flashier lie over the duller truth. Of course. I Which need to stop need to getting out, my ass kicked by a VTuber. A solution out of Ebina's hands. We need Daigo and the others' help. And that won't <laughs> Cancel <laughs> culture <laughs> strikes again. Check the video. There's more to it. They say something kind of odd right here. Hmm. Well now, if that's not a shock, I don't know what is. As always, folks, I'll be sure to keep you posted as soon as I hear more. On that note, our next video is a special treat. That's right, tonight I'm going live. Live. We had some guests recently, Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san from the Seiryu clan. Remember them? Well, as it turns out, they just offered to make an important announcement right here on my channel! I'll be visiting the Seiryu clan offices in Tokyo up close and personal, so don't miss out! Ebina and Sawashiro? And it's tonight. We don't have much time. Plus, if it's a live stream, that means they'll actually be there. Not only that, but Eiji should be there too. The Seiryu clan's Tokyo office. That's the old Tojo clan headquarters. We'd better head over there. Oh yeah, it's totally bait, but at the same time, I want to punch people. Of course I do. I just don't know why she started doing all this gossip stuff. Hasn't she always? Nah. Long time ago, she was just a chat streamer. Single digit viewers, too. Wow, talk about a chump. No kidding, but she seemed like she was having a lot of fun in those old streams. She always kept the chat happy. Huh. Anyway, I watched the stream, but all it really did was help me make up my mind. I unsubbed. I mean, it's a completely different person now, you know? What? You mean that's not her? She sounded the same to me. No way. It's an impression. Trust me, I'd know. I guess the Hisoka Tatara I knew is long gone. Wow. Must be- must suck being a true fan, huh? Wow. I can't even imagine, like, watching a VTuber <laughs> who gave up their VTuber to someone else. Like, this this is who, who you are. Like, if you saw Kazara spell, like, I gave, gave it to someone else, and they, like, different voice, different personality, just this. Would anyone stay? <laughs> I hope not. Nobody here. I figured fans would be storming the place. Well, it's still Yakuza territory. Still, maybe not the best place to go in person. Be a pretty ballsy move, yeah? It would be. That said, what does that say about us? 
Ugh, what a pain. Who's that? One of my guys. I wonder what they want. It's me, what is it? What? Hmm? Huh. I see. Right. Thanks. It's Takabe, the Seriyu clan chairman. Someone stabbed him in his cell. Someone what? Takabe? How is he? Unresponsive and in critical condition. Ah, oh, ain't that convenient timing. Right? This has to be Ebina's doing. With him gone, the Seriyu clan can do whatever they please. And in light of that, I get the feeling they're about to try something big. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> the stream's starting. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! Amazingly, this is my second stream today! What's more, tonight's show is huge, unlike anything we've ever seen! We might even witness history in the making if we're lucky! As I announced, we're on the town tonight! More specifically, the Tokyo offices of Yakuza Titan, the Seiryu Clan! Now then, a special word from their top two! One Masataka Ebina and one Joe Sawashiro are in the building! Seems they've got important news for us! That's some fanfare! And what do you think they'll say? Looks like they're about ready, so let's give them a warm welcome! Take it away, gents! Thank you, one and all, for your time today. I'm Ebina of the Seriyu Clan. Likewise, I'm Sawashiro of the Seriyu Clan. I'm half expecting Ebina to kill Sawashiro live. Reason. I'm sure many of you out there are feeling anxious, having heard. You know, fi figuring out what he did. As it stands. We would like to clarify the Yokohama Seryu clan's position on the matter. And that is, we of the Seryu vehemently oppose the revival of the Tojo clan. I see. And is this out of concern that you'll have more competition as Yakuza? No, on the contrary. It goes without saying that the Seryu clan is a Yakuza group. Furthermore, we have been increasing our ranks as of late. However, despite these truths, we are currently planning our disbandment. Disbandment? It's already been four years, but the two largest Yakuza groups, the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance, came together for the same purpose. Their simultaneous disbandment should still be fresh in everyone's memories. Regardless, as a result, many former Yakuza members flooded society, impacting public safety. And in response, former Tojo clan officers have since planned to rebuild the group. If I'm being quite frank, their attempt to disband was a failure. Being a seasoned Yakuza myself, I believe it was a colossal blow to all of us. Now, the Great Dissolution's ringleaders were Daigo Dojima, Masaru Watase, and of course, Masumi Arakawa. These three men plunged Japan into chaos, and needlessly ruined the lives of their peers. This is not an opinion. This is fact. You know, I'm sure he's only playing the part here. I wonder how much he actually believes. I guess he is putting his life on the line for Arakawa-san's legacy. At this point, it's tough to say. Huh? Sawashiro wasn't told about the Great Dissolution back then. He was kept out of it. I'm sure in some sense, had he been included, things might have worked out better. Might be distorted, but his desire to help Arakawa is no less than Kasuga's. It's never simple, is it? What else is new? Therefore, myself and Sawashiro here, in order to fulfill our duties as part of the Yokohama Seryu clan, now the largest Yakuza group, have developed a plan to truly disband the Yakuza, once and for all. Really now? And how do you plan to do that? Right now in Japan, the five-year ex-Yakuza clause is a shackle to many. Those longing for a normal life can expect but one thing. Complete and total exile. 
One may no. as well be dead. Noble efforts aside, the previous dissolution failed to consider this. To that end, I have created a support program that will reintegrate every last member of the Yakuza back into society upon its inception. Thus would mark the second great dissolution. The disbandment of the Yakuza, in the truest sense imaginable. To aid the project, we've since begun talks with the Japanese government and hope to receive their cooperation soon. A government? Gotta say, this is a big deal. As a matter of fact, their involvement is crucial to our plan. The goal of this project, you see, is to simultaneously provide a solution to the other issue Japan's currently facing. That issue being, of course, the disposal of nuclear waste. Nuclear power plants work non-stop, producing copious amounts of waste daily. There are no proper disposal areas within Japan. As it stands, said waste has only continued to accumulate. Nevertheless, we have also procured a means to not only contain it, but also dispose of it. The answer lies with Hawaii's very own group, Palekana. For years, Palekana has contributed to both charity and environmental causes. As to the latter, they even have their own disposal site, one suited for nuclear waste. After long negotiations, Palakana has agreed to take in and dispose of Japan's low concentration waste. On top of that, they have also committed to hiring former Seryu clan members following the upcoming dissolution. So you won't just solve the nuclear waste issue, but you'll help your colleagues back on their feet as well. Well, well, this really was an important announcement. Indeed. And please, let it be clear that the reason we're here is to, above all, convey the good faith of the Seryu clan. We'd like to show our sincerity that our plan is more than empty words. And in order to do so, we've decided to take that first step right here on the stream. And what would that be? But what else? As of this moment, the Yokohama Seryu clan is officially dissolved. You mentioned you were preparing to disband, but you meant right now? That's right. Tomorrow, we will be reborn as a new organization, a wholly legitimized non-profit. Our name, Bleach Japan. Well. Bleach Japan? The hell is he talking about? Uh, uh, back from the dead. How do you like that? <sighs> that wraps it up. If this project actually goes through, could that mean a huge turning point for Japan? That's it for today's stream. Catch you at the next update. Can they do that? Who's gonna stop them? That was all talk. They should still be inside. Are they waiting for him? No. They might not come through here. We should go to them. I had a feeling you'd say that. All right, let's go. Like, if everything goes according to plan, they got the politicians on their side. They got everything on their side. It's all going to work out for them. I got people to punch. What in the... Oh, ho, ho, my, my. If it isn't Kiryu-san, come trudging back to dig up the old Tojo clan. Your little breakup might have been a wash. But you don't got a butt in on ours. I'm here for Ebina and Sawashiro. Out of the way. You still don't seem to understand the situation you're in. Come on. You want to embarrass yourself in front of the whole world? Says the little man in the phone. You want embarrassing? Take a look at yourself. <laughs> All right. Wait, no. Let's go. 
Caesar in the Bring it on. You're going to regret this. In for the kill! You asked for it. The whip is good. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Try to block this. You asked for it. The whip is very good. Nah, this guy is more powerful. I can't I can't just do the whip and finish him off. If you want to die. You're weak to jellyfish! Killed him by crushing his balls. And that's the end. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. <laughs> Strong. That <laughs> won't budge. Looks like taking the front doors out. You Over act here. like this is the I first time Kiryu's had to go through the Tojo clan base. A straight shot from here. Nowhere to run. Better be ready. <laughs> Fine by me. I'm ready to kick some ass. I'm on a roll. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're talking. Have fun with this. Your heart's mine. That's a win. We have a winner. So you finally made it. I was getting tired of waiting. Sword obtained. <laughs> I 
I feel like that should have done a little bit more damage. Hope you're ready. Check this out. Don't mind if I do. You're going to regret this. In for the kill. Hard break. Here we go. Think you can handle this? One more every day. Sweet. Should I open it? Nice. Ooh. Ah, oh, the choices. They're both really good. I'm on a roll. Let's Allow me. Let's do it. Yeah. I need to do that fight without any uh, skills because we were running a little low on MP. Hurricane Smash! This is gonna be good. Ready? Let's go. 
shield. I'm home. Can I have that sword? Should I open it? How about that minigun? Open. Ooh, head honcho jack for Zhao. I think we're clear. Boost physical attack at max HP, and he's a desperado, sure. I don't see any enemies. So it sure should be this way. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Little walk down memory lane, Kiryusa. Narasaki. Should really take it all in. Might be the last time you ever see it. Like my dude. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. You're not the first person to come after me. You want my head? It'll take a lot more than you. That's some tough talk. Let's see how long you keep it up. All right, you bastards. Bring me the dragon's head. Whatever it takes. Now. Get him. Look, none of you have names. You don't have a chance. You're going to regret this. Try to block this. You asked for it. This will go. You're getting no Allow me. Time to take out the trash. You wanna play? <laughs> Get up, I'm not done with you. Hey, bring it out. Hey, 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 no, I wanted that. Morons, give it here. You kidding me with that shit? His private army wasn't enough? He's making a mess of the place, too. Ought to teach him some manners. So is he actually gunning down his own men? Oh yeah, yeah, it, it... He was gunning his own men. They were taking damage. Yo, big sword. But my dude, Sephiroth, you are not. Masafumi Narasaki. Oh! Oh, I, I have to admit, he's not a cool character, but that is a cool Shit, weapon. Look at the size of that thing. It's swipe is split you in two. Better together. We only need one Next. shot. I won't hold back.
Essence of big ass bird. Time for the stench. Defense further. I won't hold back. Wanna play, do we? I'm not that down. It's over. For mercy now. Have fun with this. Yeah, Kiryu does have the buff move, but I think I'm just gonna go with debuffs for this fight. He's not that strong. of memory. <laughs> Strong. Shit. They got away. <laughs> you morons. Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san. They were never here to begin with. That live stream of theirs was a recording. Dang it! You all bought it. Just like that. Sure, we might not have gotten rid of you, but I think we'll be fine either way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wait till you step outside. Kill you. Your history. Have fun running. <sighs> Sounds like there's no reason to stick around. Let's go. Yeah, good plan. <laughs> Just walk over his body. Whoa. You don't think they're dead, do you? Holy shit. Did Kiryu really do all this? Whoa. Who are these people? Do they even realize where they are? <laughs> Rubberneckers. And the media's here, too. Crazy they just waltz through the front door like that. Hey! It's Kiryu! I knew it! Kiryu did do this! Whoa, no way! Amazing! 
The legend busts in right as the Seiryu clan's about to disband! The absolute madman! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Ah. Finally, Japan's nuclear byproduct disposal agreement with a private individual, Bryce Fairchild of Polycana. But who is this enigmatic philanthropist? For decades, Polycana has been known for its volunteer work on the islands. Under Bryce Fairchild's leadership, they've expanded their charitable outreach to all corners of society. The Sage, as he's called by followers, adheres to a personal creed of relief for the helpless. Perhaps his decision to accept Japan's nuclear waste is another form of providing such relief. Unbelievable. They're talking like he's a goddamn hero. Yeah, but Lonnie is still our focus here. We need Nelly Island's location. That's the thing. As far as anyone knows, Nelly Island doesn't exist. I even went to the library to look it up. Makes no difference if you can find where it is or not. From what I hear, unless they know you, they won't even let you near the coast. Whatever's going on there, the rest of the world is blind to it. Nelly Island is basically Bryce's little black box, it sounds like. Shit, man. Finding this place is hopeless, isn't it? Come on, don't talk that way. Nah, Tomy's honestly got a point. Looking for the island isn't getting us anywhere. Ichiban, not you too. I mean, maybe we should start looking for something else. Nelly Island's no good. But what about ships heading to Nelly Island? Ships? Hard to imagine an island remote enough to store radioactive waste as totally self-sufficient. Whatever they can't get there, they need shipped from the Hawaiian mainland, right? What if we snuck aboard something bound for Nelly Island? There go ships. You're right. They'd have to have them coming in and out. As a matter of fact, I do recall at some point Bryce mentioning receiving boats. Plus, where are they getting the waste I don't from? Know what kind or where'd they depart from? I might have an idea. Only place I know decent sized ships can dock is the Harbor Street Marina. Nice. Let's check it out. Hold on. Are you expecting to find something with a Polycana logo on its side? If you could tell which were theirs, some prying journalist would have hopped on one by now. They must be disguising themselves somehow. Ah, uh, leave it to me. I got a buddy working there. We go back, too. If I ask him about any suspicious boats, he'll tell me. Whoa, way to come through. That's convenient. You know, I, am I looking after Akane-san a little bit longer? Bryce could still send more people here. Hey, Ichiban. I've gotta ask, are you really sure about this guy? Handing Akane-san over to Polycana would solve a lot for him. It's all good, Tony. You won't do that. Why so certain? Tomizawa-kun isn't wrong. If I gave up the old lady, I could keep my turf without any more hostilities. Sure, but that'll never happen. Because you'd be giving her to Bryce, wouldn't you? And a man like you doesn't work with people he hates, right? <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Akane san, we'll be back before long. Just be careful. <clears throat> From the looks of it, she seems more comfortable with you. Think so? <laughs> Still too stiff to ever be mistaken for mother and son, but. Hey, you got time now. Just take it slow. Thanks, I guess. Okay, if... Uh, can you guys look something up for me? 
Feel it. Uh, can you guys look up where I could find the Geodancer's maracas and type out where it's located? Like I said, my phone's not currently working, so I can't research. And I got Goro Majima as a guest. And Taiga Saijima, Daigo. Okay. Let's see. Any new side quests in the meantime? No, it doesn't look like it. No, we got nothing new. I can take on Crowned enemy near hip. Oh, I know where hip hop shrimp is. That's uh. Oh, I I did know at one point. That's where we talked to uh, that one dude. Wait, that's on the east side, isn't it? Dean Deluga. It was near the beach, right? Oh, there it is. D duh. Anything. It's actually really close. have one of these guys so uh I can use this there you go will this persuade you what the what even is this please not good enough think you can tame me huh Adam's visor? No, that's not it either. And I've never had one of those. I'm done fighting, all right. There you go. Take this. A peace offering. What's this all about? Let's see. We're brothers from here on. Should I open it? Got it. Should I open it? Sweet. Let's see. If the enemy is then at least level 29, come back later. Oh, 
Let's see, you say Kaku Avenue and Alola Street. Oh, this isn't even the right place, is it? Nope. Oh, there's an... Okay. I didn't even realize there was a... Uh, there were two hip hop shrimps. I know you said it. I just, I just didn't know. I, I that was me. Oh yeah, this guy definitely feels like he would have it. Here's the Geo Dancers Maracas. Oh, we got the essence of showboating. I like that attack. Um, let, let's go upgrade this. Good to see. What is it now? I'll start right now. What if I tried? Huh, shut up. I'm thinking. A little more. This is even better. Any other weapon I need? Uh, let, let's go through Good. the list like one more time See and figure out who we still have and who we don't. I, I'm pretty sure that was the last one, but let me double so check. Long, old man. So for our party. Ichiban's going to be a hero. Done. He's going to be a linebacker. Done. He's going to be a host. We got that one. Done. Chitose has her weapon. Done. Kazuma Kiryu is not going to need a weapon because he's going to be a dragon of Dojima. Psycho, we just got hers. Uh, Sunhi, um... Yes, yes. Ten tennis ace. We have hers. Namba has the staff. Zhao has the, um, uh, d does Zhao have his ultimate? Yes, he's, he's the Desperado with the gun. Um, where, where can we find the Hitman's ultimate weapon? Like, the Hitman's fist. I don't know if that's what I want him to be, but I'd like that as an option. Or is that just from completing his drink links? You messed with the wrong guy. Okay, you asked for it. Full power! Drink link? Okay, so we don't need any more weapons. Good to what is it now? Tell me if it's too much for you.
Magic skills can critically you need your hit. That'll do it. So long, old man. And then the last thing I'm gonna get is increased critical hit chance. Um. You know what? I know. I know I haven't been doing this on stream very much, but I want to go into the Hawaiian haunt and I want to, I'm not going to really train, but I want to get to the end of the dungeon. I have not done that yet. And I could start there from the boss. I don't think I ever went in here. Hmm? I stopped right at the end because I wanted to do this on stream. Help! Oh God, help me! The, the robot, he'll kill us all! Robot, here we go. Rios! Oh god, he's back and he's even more powerful. Dial up noises! So, Robo Michi has gone berserk again? Alright, let's take him down. But, there's so many of it! What? So many? Oh my god! Robo Michi, Genbu! Robo Michio Biako Robo Michio Sirio Robo Michio Suzaku Together we are The Robo Michio Rangers For real? You gotta be kidding me. I recognize these guys. They're from the limited edition Divine Beast Michio set. Why do you know that? They sold like gangbusters, but then they got recalled for some obscure hardware defect. What are they doing here? You're really up on all this merchandise stuff, huh? Processing power limiting subroutines offline. Activate extermination protocol. All intruders will be termichinated. Oh, God. Your mortal lives are forfeit, Michi! <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what I was expecting. But honestly, I don't know why. Oh god. No! He can't sleep! All right, we're gonna go for the ultimate tag team. Right Here's what true friends are made of. And it's gone. All right, let's do it. Let's see. They're not near each other. They're perfectly spaced apart. Come on, ladies! Let's boogie! Let's go! 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 Yeah! Get wrecked! Here 
Damn, what do I do? Oh, you silenced me. <laughs> Adachi didn't do anything. Hey, be nice. Oh, dang it, you have sleep grenades? Okay, that's one dead. Oh, I'm silenced. Okay, he just raised everyone's attack. He's dead. That's two. Yeah, I'm going to annihilate Genbu next. Let's see, what would you be weak to? Fire! Oh my god. Let's go. High quality product. Just a moment.
Yeah, yeah, the meat and the uh, money sorter is fun. <laughs> Defense up! Okay, you're both weak to water. Let's go. I can do this. Oh no. This is for the both of you. Oh yeah, Adachi, keep in mind, Adachi's also like 10 levels lower than everyone else, and yes, he has terrible MP. Get fish. Come on! I'll fight a hundred Michios! System reboot. Oh no, what have I done, Michi? You bugged out again, pal. Even found some friends this time, too. Ah! The Ono Michio Divine Beast series! They were even more sloppily programmed than Michi! Tough break. Never Michi all that, all of that, though. You've now conquered every floor! Wonderful! I hope we can work together to preserve the safety and security of this beautiful land. The Divine Beast Michios will be right by your side. Right by, right by my side? <sighs> no, that's all right, thanks. Do I get them as a pound mate? Welcome back, Michi Bonsan. I'll be cheering you on, Michi. Oh, I wanted them as a pound mate.
Okay, so... Yeah, we, we got everything we need from here. Yeah, we did get a new hat. Get wrecked. Come on. I can do this. My dude, you're all level 18. You do you do not want to go for this. Take your best shot. You're just doing your job and here I am unleashing the bees. Oh my god, it's one of them. Time to go all out. Uh, one and two and three. Oh, kinda of thirsty. Maybe I should get some tea. Gasuga, word of the wise. Be careful with the tea around here. Be careful of it how? Other day I bought a can of green tea. It was sweet. Sweet like crazy. Like pre-sweetened? Yeah, like if you ordered tea somewhere and dumped a bunch of sugar in it. I mean, I was expecting something familiar, so it totally floored me. Yeah, I get it. Culture shock, right? Sorry, Adachi-san. That sounds traumatic. Uh, that's the thing. Like... I kept drinking, and actually, it was pretty damn good. Well, when you're back home, missing Hawaii, dump some sugar in your tea. Oh, not a bad idea. I might just try that. This is what it is to be a citizen of the world. Feels like a slight overstatement. <laughs> ships something that comes by regularly maybe loads up on supplies and essentials you can't think of anything Takata I haven't seen you in how long and now this are you some undercover cop man we don't have time to waste can you think of anything or not uh, there's one boat like that maybe docks about every two weeks showed up again this morning that's convenient shit for real it's here now yeah no one's there, though. The crew's out at the moment. Perfect timing, then. Can you show it to us? I guess so. Follow me. I gotta say, this was damn good thinking, Tomazawa. Hey, I've always said I got connections. So, uh, Tomi and you go back a while? Yeah, maybe. Couple of Japanese boys who can't shake each other. Oh, really? Well, same to you, asshole. <laughs> so, why has it been so long since you came around last? Kasuga-san here probably knows you better than me now. True! According to him, you two are good buddies. Hey, lay off. It all worked out, didn't it? 
Takara-san? Yeah. How did you know my name? Oh. Uh, uh, you introduced yourself. No, I didn't. Hmm. Ah, it's Kata. What the hell is this? Heretics, may the flames purify you in death. What? Come on, you're all Polycana? Seriously? Madam Nele, bless us in this endeavor. Okay, you asked for it. I can do this. You just never know who's going to be a cultist. Let's get it done. Ready, ready. Let's do this, guys. You got it. Here's what true friends are made of. Dakota got blown off the map and had to reset. Get him, Tommy! Dakota, damn it! When'd you join Palakata? When? From my very first breath, you faithless bastard. Polycana is everywhere. All of Hawaii is brimming with the devout. And those of us righteous enough to be named Haku are all around you. Seeds sown in the soil, waiting for the bloom that will cleanse this fetid land. You're a Haku? Haku are in the city. They're not just all holed up at Nelly Island. Remember what Dana said at the orphanage? That's Bryce's strategy. Deploy the Haku like... Sleeper agents throughout the state. So they could be anywhere at any time? This is bullshit! The sage's will is inescapable. There'll be no refuge for the damned. May it be. Madam Nele, embrace us all. What? Wait, what? 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 Why? What? Hey, hey, Takata! Did they all just... The hell? He just... <laughs> it must be some kind of poison capsule or something. Bryce! He's completely insane! He doesn't care who he sacrifices! Just to stay the man in charge! I'm not seeing any cargo ships, by the way. And I bet the cops are coming fast. We need to back off for now. <sighs> Fine. Uh -uh. Look, Tommy has a lot to think about right now. Miss Madam Nele, or whoever's up there, don't be too hard on the guy. Well. Back to your mize until things cool down a little? Guess so. We're back to square mm -hmm. one. Yeah, hey, uh, can I help you? Huh? What? Cleansing flames of Madame Nele. Come on. Huh? More of Bryce's goons? Yo. Tomizawa, heads up. Whoa. You gonna try to mommy and you're going down. Time to go all out. Prepare yourself. It's this time. Open water. 
Get him! Drop These guys, are they all the same as Takata? We gotta keep moving for now. No. Wait! With this many around, is it safe to go back to Akane-san? Damn it. You're right. Maybe we can give them the slip if we run? Let's try. They're everywhere. No, don't chase me down. Got something to say. Come on, crack your heart. All right, let's go. <laughs> Use our army of Sujimon to even the odds. Yeah. <laughs> Can't jump over. Leave me alone! I'm just trying to live a normal life! You know, okay, who am I kidding? This is far from normal. Madam Nele will purify you. Here they come. We have to get going. Hello. I have a bad feeling about the main road. Well, we could cut through the front of Crystal Alola, Aloha. Get to Little Japan from there? Hey, man. Most of the Palakana guys are local, so districts with more tourists should be safer, right? Yo. Good thinking, Tommy. Let's move. Or we're just getting the civilians involved. Okay, you asked for it. 
You wonder if the segue would be of any use? Honestly, not really. It's faster, but it's more, but it kind of does its own thing. not listening to me. How about you stop being part of your cult and join my Pokemon uh, Digimon team? There you go. Take this. A peace offering. No way. I have to go with my gut here. <laughs> okay, you're on. Our first convert, yeah. Of course, his road's blocked. Like goddamn locusts. Hey. Hey, over there. What's up? More of them? No. Look where we are. Hmm? A shrine? Maybe we could sneak in there? Let things die down a bit? Trespass inside a temple? What the hell? We've already pissed off one god today. <laughs> Extenuating circumstances. The gods will be cool with it, probably. Come on. here, aren't we guys? I can't believe Bryce is so many steps ahead of us. Yeah, but like, why now? Huh? If Lonnie's on Nale Island, it doesn't make sense to spread out like this. I mean, if I were Bryce, why move my best people to the mainland now? You should be playing defensively, protecting what he already has. Might have a point there. Is it possible that Lonnie's still in Honolulu somehow? 
That makes sense. If they haven't moved her to the island yet, Policana's still vulnerable. And since we're running around all over the place, they need guard dogs to hold us back. An astute observation. Impressive, oh. Kasuga-san. Jungi Han! However, it might behoove you to lower your voice. Jungi! Hey, when did you fly in? No. Hello. <laughs> hmm. I confess, it's been too long no. since I've gotten so much sun. It's a pleasure to meet you both, Jungi Han. I'm the Komijul organization's right hand. Kasuga san and I met there. So he's not an enemy? Um, guess not. Now then, shall we catch up? Sonny is always asking about your well-being. In spite of her demeanor, she's something of a busybody. Sonny, huh? She's still in Ijinsha with Kiryu-san and Namba now, right? Indeed. They're in touch with Zhao as well. That's why Sonny decided Hawaii would be a more useful place for me. I arrived two days ago. No kidding. Where you been for 48 hours? Carrying out my orders. Determining Nele Island's means of transportation. Hold on. You've been after their cargo ships too? Yes. If their shutters were to come down now, the game would be over. Therefore, Palikana's point of access must be found immediately. Such are Sunhi's instructions. Then we're on the same page. Well then, were you able to find their ships? Please, take a look at this. I retrieved this photo by hacking into a government satellite. I'll keep which nation a secret. This is Nelly Island, here. That's it? Nelly Island? Big hole. Yesterday, this ship was photographed departing from the island's port. Advancing the time, we can follow its route across the sea. Until finally, it docks on our island here. Considering its size, it must be a cargo transport. Knowing what we know, I expect Lonnie will be aboard when it next embarks. Where's the ship now? Honolulu Bay, somewhere out of sight beneath the cliffs. Wherever it is they dock their ships, Palikana was smart to keep it obscured. As of now, the boat seems to still be safe in harbor, which means that Lonnie is as well. All right, let's get to that dock. When Lonnie shows up, we'll intercept them and get her back. That would be a fine plan. But the cliffs are 200 meters tall with almost a 90 degree ascent. Even for an expert climber, that would be a challenge. Quick, does anyone know how to get spider powers? They must have a way to get cargo on board. I would presume there to be a concealed pathway to the harbor from land. Unfortunately, I've been unable to find even a hint of such a thing in the photos. Were I to guess, could be located underground. Somewhere below street level. Sorry, father. I'm fresh out of radioactive arachnids. Remember oh, when I went to district what'd you, my own? what'd you use them on? Yeah. That was just after you left me naked you ate on the them, beach, didn't you? right? I didn't ask you to remember that part. Anyway, we took the subterranean path to Dwight's hotel to get there. Along the way, a smoothie. I saw the root oh, branch God. off <laughs> in another direction. What's that way? I asked, and the barracuda with me just said nothing. You didn't see that. Back then, I didn't want to think too much about it. That could be it! That could be exactly what we're looking for! Rice owns the Barracudas, so it only makes sense they'd run that tunnel. I know you're all excited. But District 5 again? Every time we go there, I eat shit. If it's any consolation, we're gonna eat shit everywhere in town now. Ugh, oh, the undercover cultists. God damn it. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Wouldn't you rather die trying? <sighs> Fine. What's one more ass kicking if it wins us the war? Atta boy. <laughs> I must say, Kasuga san, you remain a curious fellow. Everywhere you go, you're able to attract the most dangerous foes and most reliable allies. I envy you. But to be honest, I could do without the foes. <laughs> Anyway, man, Polycana really needs to get theirs. Are you flying back soon? Not at all. If you're willing to have me, I'd be glad to rejoin the party. 
Oh, hell yeah! I was hoping you'd say that! Joongi, join the party! Kasuga-san. If I may, we would be wise to restock our supplies before stepping into District 5, yes? For sure. By the way, um... Hmm? Sup? Aren't you hot in that thing? I suppose I spared no time to change. Jeez, man, I'm sweating just looking at you. <sighs> and honestly, it's only going to attract unwanted attention as we go. Definitely. You stand out like a sore thumb wrapped in a garbage bag. <sighs> I see. I wasn't aware my attire was so problematic. <laughs> hey, don't be embarrassed. We should resupply anyway, like you said. We'll get you some new threads while we're at it. So, Anaconda then? Better get ready to watch our backs. Understood. I shall follow your lead. When in Rome, as they say. Street's quiet. If we're going, now's the time. Okay. Alright, let's move. Okay, wow, he's he's actually... He's got a lot of stuff. I love that my most powerful weapon for him is Cat Paws. Greatly increases job XP. He could use that. And he's level 38. Could be worse, to be honest. He at least starts off as a rank 25 hitman. But yes, it's time to derail the plot for Bond Bingo. God, your face pisses me off. You'll regret it. You're going down. Full power. Oh yeah, he would have his first essence. Let's see it. Okay, so he's the fastest on my team. Let's see. Christmas shot. I gotta look through all these. That's pretty good. Decent. Ignores guard and never misses. This is a good one. Sleeping powder. Eh. Light damage with high likelihood of crit, but it. Oh, that's bad. Um. God. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, this is a heavy attack with a chance to poison. That's good. Instant KO doesn't work against most things you want it to work on. Causes fear. Back attack. Okay, so... The fewer people you use this on, the more damage it does. Time to clear the way. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this is a rep. I know this reference. <laughs> this is reminding me, like, the way his arms swayed, it was too much like Captain Kuro from One Piece. This is his, uh, the out of the bag attack.
Just double checking any crown enemies back here. Go to Dondoko Island. Oh, there is a crown enemy in there. What you looking at? No, the crown sumo used to be right here. Like, most crown enemies don't come back. Need to slow down now. In fact, I've never seen a crown enemy come back after defeating. The battle is on. Well. <laughs> Two step. Oh, there's another crown. What are you looking at? Best brace yourself. Let's do it. Or maybe they do come back. What? I mean, I I'm okay if I'm wrong. Just kind of took me by surprise. Persuade you? Uh, wow. No way. Sure, I'll pal around. I'm ready for anything. What are you looking at? What you looking at? I'm coming! The battle's on! Both you guys! I am also doing, uh, like, smacking down a lot of dudes to uh, increase the bond of Jugi Han because every single time you beat up an enemy you get one point. It's not much but it adds up. Miss. 
watch me. So Nice. So close to level nine. Oh, they have comics here. You can't get these ones in Japan. You read comics, Jungi? Yes. I started out watching superhero movies, but now I'm a true fan of the source material. I like that the heroes aren't perfect. They face adversity and make mistakes. And the antagonist's sense of justice clashes with the heroes, like oil and water. American comics take an approach that is rarely used in Japanese works. I think you would enjoy them as well, Kasuga-san. Dang, sounds like it's right up my alley. Even the artwork packs a punch. I might end up buying a whole series if I get really into it. Well, with the most popular series, if you include spin-offs, they can easily number over 500 volumes. So, you might want to rethink that. That many? Yeah. My floors would probably implode under the weight. We're really opening up. He likes American comics. Hey! They've got Japanese manga here! In English! It's even got a new cover! Oh, that's kind of cool. This stuff is popular over here. They show anime on TV, too. Wow, I didn't know. You read any of these, Tomi? Well, yeah, a few. They make decent conversation starters. And as a caveat. That right? Oh, who would have thought? Of course, got to be careful of the Japanese clients in that case. They're up on the latest chapters, and they'll spoil you on them. Talk about a road hazard. <laughs> Okay, next. What are you look what are you looking at? You messing with us? You're going down. Full power. Ichiban's like twenty years behind on his manga. Yeah, he needs to start one piece. You might understand the references to Jungi Han's attacks. I've started cooking to improve my physique these days. I'm feeling even more toned. Wow, Jungi? I bet you're picky about your meals. Of course. But I'm also choosy with ingredients. Just the other day, I scaled a cliffside to harvest some pristine mushrooms. Safe to say that diet isn't the only reason you're so jacked lately. All right. Apparently hooked on cooking. Good hobby. kiddos out here should we make a huge sandcastle too <laughs> you sound like a kid yourself besides i'm too skilled to compete against amateurs what do you mean skilled they're just playing in the sand <laughs> to me it's a form of art after i ascertained the correct sand to water ratio i sculpt only with absolute precision with these two hands i can build literally anything Where'd you master a random ass skill like that? That information, strictly confidential. We're really opening up. He's unusually skilled at building things out of sand. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's now a weapon shop. Oh, there's a weapon shop now. That that store used to be closed. What are you looking at? Can you even keep up? Come on. Full power. I mean, I doubt they're going to have anything impressive. But I, I kind of want to see... I, I kind of want to see what they have available because I've never been to that shop before. Oh, it's all wa it's all the water equipment of the game. That's neat. Thanks very much. There's a good amount of enemies in this game that are weak to water, so if you wanted to build yourself dedicated to water damage, you could make it totally work. out here is a breeze what a pleasure it sure is refreshing but when you say out here do you tend to have a hard time swimming in the ocean well actually you know how my job often requires infiltration sneaking through jagged coastlines or swamps is no walk in the park all right in comparison i bet you could swim the beaches of hawaii in your sleep just recently i even had to swim an entire river upstream dude are you even human? All right. <laughs> Thanks to his job, he knows the difficulties of wa of water infiltration. Jungi has as almost, almost as many wild stories as Kiryu. The thing is, Kiryu's are more fun. Come on. Okay. You asked for it. But you're right, he probably has as many wild stories. feel like we've been here before. I film a lot of movies around here, like that uh, dinosaur one. Oh, that's true, huh? 
think that explains it. I watched the crap out of that flick. Ah, oh, shit. Now I feel like watching it again. I can lend it to you. Think I've still got it on tape? You still watch tapes? What? Are eight millimeters that out of date? Eight millimeters? How old are you? I don't even know where to find an eight millimeter player these days. Uh, you know, oh. you can just stream all this stuff now. Just watch it on your phone. You got oh, a point. I... I'll just watch it that way. Hey, my tape, though. What about that? It was, How's um... That? Well, it was nice of you to offer. Hello. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, you were Now you're going down. Full power. Nice down here. You haven't seen me fail a Sujimon snatch yet. I've failed quite a few, but I'm currently using Master Suji Gifts, which have the highest chance. And it's harder to fail. There are a ton of dogs being walked in this area. They're adorable. I may not look like the type, but animals tend to really like me. I even attract birds. Just the other day, a parrot flew over and landed on me. A parrot? Yeah. Then afterwards, a strange man came over and asked me for money. Dude, doesn't it seem like that parrot was just part of a scam? Uh, what? Did you give any money to the guy? I had forgotten my wallet, so I just kept smiling and he went away. So being a complete airhead is built-in scammer defense. <laughs> well, whatever works. We're really opening up. He <laughs> self-proclaimed fact, animals love him. We should introduce him to our fair yeah. Let's see. No, I didn't want a bus stop. Where is... Oh, the charger's over there. I wanted to charge the uh, Segway. Ocean? You ever feel like shouting? Uh, not really. I kind of get it. What would you shout? I don't know. Screw you, Ocean! Classic. Makes you feel like a teenager again. I feel bad for the ocean if teenagers are shouting at it. Yeah, what'd the ocean ever do? <laughs> Oh, you want to go to Don Doko Island, my dude? Three. Wow, remember when we used to think that a hundred dollars for a full charge was too expensive? Ah, times have changed. I remember it like it was chapter 4. Now we have one made of gold.
This is absolutely the safest place we could be segueing. Directly. How am I supposed to stick my head out the window on this thing when it has no windows? What are you talking about? It's all window. All of it is window. You're sulking over something. Oh, it's nothing. Just ignore me. Come on, now I have to know. The least I can do is listen. I have a pimple right on my face. Wait, what? Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I'm stuck with a giant pus pod, damn it. From now on, I'm on a strict vitamins only diet. Your understanding is appreciated. Seems like this is a big deal for him. Hey, but you gotta eat an actual meal at some point. All right. He's insecure about pimples. I'm afraid I made a horrendous oversight while leaving for Hawaii. Wait, what do you mean? Is one of our friends in danger? Before I left Japan, I may have neglected to return my rental DVDs. No! Uh, this is truly a disaster. At this rate, they're bound to charge me a late fee. Uh, get over it. We're really opening up. His life is ruined. Not want to get hit this by that area is packed with luxury cars. Sure feels swanky, don't it? <gasps> no. So check out that convertible. Oh, it must feel great to ride with the top down at the height of summer. You are naive, Kasuga-san. A convertible in the summer is nothing but a steel trap. All fun and games till you hit a traffic jam or a stoplight, and suddenly you're in hell. There's no buffer between you and the sun, so you get hit directly. You can put the by roof up. Heat. People with dark hair should be even more mindful. Dark hair attracts more solar energy. Holy cow. Man, when you put it that way, it sounds pretty awful. Oh, hey, so that's why your hair's that color then. <laughs> Do you really think this iconic look was all for the sake of some convertible? All right. It could have been. That explains why Chiban's brain is cooked. No, that that's because of a perm. But then again, he was dumb before the perm, so... Maybe? There's a non-zero chance. Aloha! Hey, you guys remember when we just saw people die here? Yeah, that was weird. Oh, I like it. I was wondering what fried calamari was, but I guess it's just squid rings. Mm. Oh, so plump and springy. Mm. Wonder how long ago this little. I remember it like it was half an hour ago. <laughs> Good question. Look at us dining on seafood by the sea. I think I like it here. Mm-hmm. Are you okay over there, Adachi-san? You haven't said a word. It's the calamari. 
Slather it in mayo sauce and mm, mm, taste bud heaven. Uh, reminds me of my golden years as a mayo lover. You a, a mayo lover? Never knew you liked the stuff. Uh, but wait, are you saying you gave it up? I'm sure he was told to refrain during a checkup or something. No, I wouldn't talk about it so lightly, Jim. My health isn't a joke. Uh, I... my apologies. But yeah, it was during a checkup. The uh, doctor really let me have it. <laughs> oh, so you admit it. <laughs> I used to douse anything and everything in mayo. But that whew, shot up my cholesterol levels, so... Yeah, some things you just gotta let go. Yeah, I feel ya. Here, try some cocktail sauce. I guarantee it'll taste just as good. No! I want mayonnaise, damn it. A big, pasty pile of it. <laughs> Are you a child? With an old man's stubbornness to boot. Shut your traps! Well, we did come all the way out to Hawaii. Maybe just as once is okay. I'm sure a teeny bit of mayo won't kill you. What, you think so? Well, then fuck it. I'm going the whole hog on the stuff. No! Make no, no, sure you don't relapse, dude. The doctor's gonna rip you one twice as hard if you do. Okay, well, should that happen, would you guys stick up for me? No! No. Nope. <laughs> that oh, is great. No. Need my plate. Thank you! That's weird. What is? Oh, the internet crapped out on my phone. So is this the end of the world? I don't know, it just won't connect all of a sudden. Damn thing was fine till now. Yeah, sometimes the signal gets spotty, depending on the place. Man, no internet? It's like I'm cut off from the rest of humanity. You're not cut off from anyone. You got us, pal. Just think of all the good times we've... Hey, it's back! Oh, ho, ho. whew. <laughs> I was a goner. Uh, you know... I think Ichiban was being real genuine just now. Yeah? Yeah, my bad. I wasn't listening. Repeat that, would you? Just forget it. Aw, you two are such good friends. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'll take you down. How exciting. Full power! Hey, Kokojiro! I got an achievement for raising a uh, score to maximum. Hey, this is random, but do you think any of the shops around here sell chicken breast? I usually prep some after working out. How often does bodybuilding cross your mind anyway? Ah, scratch that. No. I bet seeing that chicken reminded you. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. We're really opening up. Train hard, trade often. Human calculator. Really? Oh, Joe on I, right in front of the feathered friend? <laughs> like, you don't say things like that all the time. All the time! Dollars are tough, man. Shopping's hard. I suck at adding decimals. Really? I've never had any issues with it. Oh, uh, then can I toss an equation your way? Please. How about 1464 plus 4839 plus 8697? <laughs> Piece of cake. We're not shaming exactly me. We're shaming Jungi. Oh, impressive! Of course, I can't even tell if you got it right or not. Ah, uh, why do I even bother? All right. <laughs> Damn, we're so close now. Yeah. 
No, 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 I saw the one by the ocean. Don't worry, we'll go back. Hmm. Price on these macadamia nuts is the best I've seen so far. Are you a fan of them? They're all right. I plan to buy some as gifts for Komijo. Ah, oh, look at you being all thoughtful. Well, we are a vast organization. I'm just scouting out the best deal. The Komijo is quite strict about limiting its cash expenditures. So even macadamia nuts count as business expenses. We're really opening up. Souvenirs are a business expense. I misplaced the list of souvenirs that Sunni entrusted me with. A souvenir list? She actually gave you one of those? Yes. I remember most of it, so I'm rewriting what I can. But it seems the very last item is escaping me. Was it a dragon keychain or a wooden sword? Mm. Does Sunni think you're out here on a field trip or something? All right. Current mission is to acquire souvenirs. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. Huh. I'm not seeing any more, uh, Bond Bingo. We got one drink link. I think I'm going to save that until, uh, you know, we get all the drink links. Like, I I'm going to train him off screen. It'll, it'll be ready for next week. Remember, anybody here could be one of Bryce's people. Then we shouldn't waste time. First stop, close for, uh, Mr. Han here. about this place well their stock does seem as though it would lend itself to mobility okay let's take a look hmm? how about this huh? are you joking that crafts like 10 years out of fashion nah get our man something like this no. you're crazy that's probably the oldest thing in the whole mall you want to go that's because it's timeless. What would you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Get a load of this, baby. Wow. Whoa. That is stylish. <sighs> That'll be outdated two minutes after they ring you up. Stop. You idiots, we're trying to make him look less noticeable. Ah, right. Guess I kind of forgot that part. <sighs> oh dear. So, 
You want something easy to move in and inconspicuous, yeah? You're right. Precisely. And fabric that breathes well, preferably. How about this? Price is pretty reasonable. Oh. Hey, not bad. Oh. Hmm. I've got no complaints. Jungi? Yes. It's immaculate. I'll take it at once. Apologies for making you all wait. How do I look? Hey, <laughs> not bad. Figures Chi Chan would make the best call. <laughs> never should never should have been any doubt. Hmm. Yeah, well, I say he could still use a little more panache. Huh. <laughs> have to admit, this is definitely in fashion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, funny? No. I just realized. I'd almost forgotten we're in a race against time. This was quite enjoyable, as distractions go. <laughs> well, let's come back again and shop some more when the clock's not ticking. Naturally. Indeed. I look forward to that. Yeah. All right. Let's pick up whatever else we need then. But I don't think we should head for your mice just yet. How about one last stop at Revolve? Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess that's to make up for the fact that he shows up so late. Okay, Kasuga. If everything's checked off, we're bound for District 5. I'm flying blind. That part of the city, you guys take the lead. Uh -huh. No problem, but none of us have exactly been where we're needed before, where we're headed before, have we? Yeah. That's true. We should expect trouble, huh? Yes. That seems wise. Why did why I did we need to come here? I saw something interesting on TV the other day. They say the average person only lasts for 23 hours in their lifetime. Yeah? That little, huh? You know, I'm sure it varies from person to person or how it's calculated, but still, I was shocked. I thought we laughed way more than that. It shouldn't be more like 23 years? Uh, that's way too much. Right! I'd be laughing myself to death! <laughs> you know, maybe they need to revise that theory for Ichiban specifically <laughs> well i'm sure we'd all live a little longer if we laughed as much as this guy welcome let's see oh i still never found his coffee beans hope you're ready for this Sorry, just... Oh, is that it? Wait, but... Okay. This one should do. Well, Joongi needs a, uh... Needs a song. Mm, yeah. DJ Ichiban in the house. On the ones and twos. This song's for anyone. Yeah, it's this crazy song again. And shattered in pieces. Living in an empty room, hanging curtains to block out the view. Yes, I'm a The sinking clutter surrounds me, and I spend all of my time digging up. Dishwasher's broke. Every day's an anniversary of better times we had long When ago. my sink was clean. When I imagined you could someday be by my side, walking with me through this life. The so landlord knows. 
knows, but you won't help. Some things are meant to be. Sing it. Love is in destiny. Come on. Now dust is catching in the light of the sun. Pouring past the window pane where I had watched you leave. Oh, please, come back to me. the world i used to worry about my followers i lost you i lost myself i bought a new dishwasher i don't think i got the right kind for my thing anyway i need to talk to the guy at the store again <laughs> yeah jinky also sings this one fans ah Zhao's just a bit better let's see how am I doing on uh... ooh Adachi still needs a little bit more too I never trained Adachi that much but I did get his bond bingo, so that's why he has so much more. And you're saying cafe trip on Anaconda, Anaconda Shopping Center? Okay. Cafe trip on the second floor. Take a break. Um. Oh, you think it was just outside the entrance? Okay. I was just looking. Um, yeah, let's head back to survive. Sorry, revolve. Wait, the persona. Yeah, th there's some persona songs. They're just more of the, uh, the they're just more of, uh, like, little, the, the walking around songs. 
Well, I mean, it, it's all Sega. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Fight's going out there. Welcome. Excuse me. Glad he's happy with the gift. It feels like my bond with the gar bartender grew stronger today again. Welcome. Thanks. Okay, now that that's done, I think singing would actually improve him. Hope you're ready for this. One's for you. We're starving dogs running the rail lines. Just getting by on any scraps we can find. Got a sign that feeds means nothing to me. This tale don't wag for no one else. A yes man has his day. That day is dead and gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are bad boys. A young man left to me his maker cries out no to say. Justice! We're breaking the law, breaking the world together. Throwing out all tenderness, we're breaking the rules. No cause, no choice, no going back to how it was. No slowing down because we'll keep our heads high. Our fists race till we die, we're living by our own judgment. Oh, no, no, no. D don't get me wrong. The, the English singing is mixed. Mixed at best. You've got talent, kasura -san. Yeah, it, it's mid. I, 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 I agree. Ooh, bartender at Revolve can now go to Dondoko Island. Aloha. Thank you. Okay. Oh! There is a new, uh... Jungi Dilemma. I know we were there on business, but a, a part of me wanted to enjoy it. It had poker tables and everything. I bet we could all grab a seat. Yeah, we'll have to do that sometime. Oh, we can actually go to the casino. Oh, 
Something about fried rice really takes me back. Actually, I just remembered. It was a cold winter night. Whoa. Does he normally start monologuing out of nowhere? Back when I was an officer. I was out with a colleague of mine and we ordered fried rice to share. Ah, oh, we were just a couple of rookies at the time with hardly a yen to our names. And can you believe it? The bastard ate all the shrimp. And there was barely any to begin with. Well, one thing led to another and then we were trading <laughs> blows. <laughs> to be fair. So what happened next? It's kind of a the dick move to eat all of the shrimp. Asses, that's what. Can't say that I didn't see that coming. That's a damn tragedy. Realizing I'd never taste that fluffy, buttery bowl of heaven again. But no. as luck would have it, one day I was finally reunited with the dish of my dreams. The restaurant lived to the band? Oh, nah. I ended up making a perfect recreation after stumbling upon this Chinese seasoning I scored from a local supermarket. <laughs> oh. Well, it was a heartwarming lesson in my life. I realized then that a rose really could grow from a crack in some cold, hard concrete. That make you all warm and fuzzy inside, Tommy? Right now, the only thing that would make me warm and fuzzy is never hearing him again. <laughs> that oh, is great. No. Please, my plate. Let's see. Let's go see the casino. I want to see what they have. Like, I, I want to see what we can get there. What was that? Oh God! <laughs> I actually didn't recognize my own uh, my own alert for subscription. Thank you for subscribing. What <laughs> crap! That was uh, I was just like, what the hell was that? <laughs> it actually kind of shocked me. That was fun. Uh, let's see. Yo, we can get TakeOver! This is where Persona 5 soundtrack was. And they even have my favorite song available. I know it's not everyone, everyone's favorite. Oh, hold on, we have to listen to this. That smells crazy good. Makes me kind of hungry. That place has some killer spicy soup. Makes you sweat like a pig, but so worth it. That sounds tempting, but I'll have to refrain. Huh? Can't handle spicy food? I can, but I have a cold sore. Not sure why I get them so often. Damn, how much we can do about that then? Most of the shops around here go hard with the spices. Uh, you maybe want some rice porridge or something? I, um, oh, it seems I've miraculously healed. Liar. We're really opening up. <laughs> Damn, we're so Prone to cold now. sores.
do your underground grip Lose and prior knowledge Call for you We're gonna make this something you will all skip Gotta be a show to remember Take over time will put you down Make over nothing's gonna take away my life was over when we started with anyway this is this is very enjoyable we're having fun <laughs> I do think though that I am going to end the stream. I'm going to train up uh, Joongi Han quite a bit so that he matches the rest of the team while also getting him fitted for his final uh, class. I think I'm going to, like, right now the plan is making him a samurai. Because we have that weapon. So let's see. A sense of style is important. Oh, he can't be a samurai until he's bond level 50? That is so mean game. Why is he so anti samurai? But yeah, let's see. Do, do I have the samurai sword? Yeah, I have the Samurai's Katana plus no. 50. It's not the uh, ultimate version, but we can but we can get it. True. He, I, I mean, I know he's not Japanese, but come on. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to I'm going to do some training off screen next week. We will be doing the drink links. Of Adachi, Jungi Han, and then we will be comp like just beelining the story unless I see more side quests, which I will see more side quests. Probably, I doubt we're done with every single one. We're probably done with most of them. I don't know. Is there like a list of like all? There, there's probably a list online of like all side quests in the entire game. I don't know how many we've done, but I could look that up. But yeah, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing the finale, probably, of Pokemon Violet. It's been a long time coming, but I hope to see you guys there. This has been your host, Kazar Spell. Hope to see you in the next video or live stream. And signing out.